Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So hopefully you guys all saw the video that I put out about a week ago. I was covering that story that everyone was talking about in the news, how researchers did this one study and found that cheese is safe for you. It doesn't cause heart attack or stroke. So in my video last week, I mainly covered the research design of that study, how they designed the study such that even when there was known cause and effect, it was impossible for the study, the way it was designed, to measure that cause and effect. Well. After reading through the actual study in more detail now, I found it's even way, way worse than that as far as how bad the study is, how biased it really is. So let's have a look. This type of study is known as a meta-analysis. That is, they pull together the data from many different studies into one new study. In this case, they looked at about 60 studies, but only 29 met their criteria. And their criteria was pretty strict, meaning if it didn't fit their criteria, they just chucked the study, it didn't get into their new study. So what kinds of studies were excluded from their study, from their meta-analysis? Well, very conveniently, they excluded studies where the participants in the studies had, say, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, or other chronic diseases. Well, in case you just missed that little trick they tried to pull there, remember this study's intent, its purpose was, they said, to measure the correlation, if there was any, between eating tons of dairy and all-cause mortality, and particularly cardiovascular disease. Well, how can people take this study seriously? How can scientists take this study seriously when they excluded all prior studies from their meta-analysis, all prior studies where the participants had coronary heart disease and diabetes and other chronic diseases, which would lead to other all causes of mortality. This is a freaking joke. As we all know, not every single person who eats tons of dairy is gonna get cardiovascular disease. But if you exclude those people that do have cardiovascular disease from this meta-analysis, what you're left with are those who eat dairy, the lucky few who eat dairy, who have not gotten cardiovascular disease. So of course, this study is not gonna measure any connection between eating tons of dairy and getting heart disease. So you may ask yourself, why would any scientist intentionally design a study whose purpose is to find the connection, the correlation between eating tons of dairy and having, say, cardiovascular disease, why would they intentionally exclude all these participants who had cardiovascular disease? It makes no sense, right? Well, if you have a look at this study's sources of funding and conflicts of interest, a lot more becomes clear. Well, as I pointed out in last week's video, three sources of funding for the study came from dairy industry groups, but it gets way worse than that. Let's have a look here. One of the researchers, whose initials are JG, that's Jean Guo, well, this person got a PhD research grant from the Barham Benevolent Trust, and that sounds nice and dandy, but let's see what that really is. Well, it doesn't take too much Googling to see that these guys give grants to cases in the dairy-related businesses, as well as grants to colleges and universities for their research in dairy-related subjects. And those are just ethical problems for this study's sources of funding. There's a bunch of conflicts of interest for these authors. There's a whole giant page here listing them all. It would take too long for me to read them all for you, but there's six authors. Let's look at this one author here whose initials are SSSM. It seems like they've taken money from pretty much every dairy company in the world. I'm not exaggerating here. They've received funding from the Global Dairy Platform, Dairy Research Institute, and Dairy Australia. The Vibe Visor International Dairy Nutrition Prize from the Dutch Dairy Association. The author, whose initials are AA, has received research grants from the Danish Dairy Research Foundation, the Global Dairy Platform, the GEIE European Milk Forum, France, advisory boards for all sorts of food companies, including McDonald's USA, Weight Watchers, Nestle Research Center, and if you skip down below, he's received financial support from dairy organizations for attending certain European conferences. Well, let's finish this list of absurd conflicts of interest. Authors whose initials are DIG and JG, they receive funding from the Global Dairy Platform, while DIG and author JAL have received funding from the Dairy Council and the AHDB Dairy. So given that the dairy industry has funded this study and has been funding most of these authors for quite a long time apparently, 
the conclusion that the dairy industry wanted that, you know, eat all the cheese, drink all the milk you want, you're not gonna have a heart attack, you're not gonna have a stroke. Well, that conclusion was paid for by the dairy industry, by the worldwide dairy industry. So why are people taking this seriously? Well, I think the reason why is, well, first of all, like I said last time, people want to hear good things about their bad habits, but I think more importantly that this information that I presented here was not being presented in all those stories that came out on the internet over the past few weeks. All you're hearing there is, yeah, eat all the cheese you want, drink all the milk you want, you're cool, bro, but they're not talking about the truth about how this study got funded and who these authors are. They're in the deep pockets of the dairy industry. This is crazy. Like I said last week, this is harmful too because they're putting information out there that can potentially kill people. So yeah, keep on eating all this food that's super high in saturated fat and will raise your cholesterol and lead to a heart attack. But by the way, they designed the study for their bosses, the dairy industry. This study cannot measure any correlation between high fat foods, in this case, milk, dairy, and getting heart attack, stroke, or all-cause mortality. So who do you want to listen to, huh? Do you want to follow the advice of this study? I say no. So anyway, leave your comments down below. What do you think about this obscene abuse of science here, funded by the dairy industry, getting conclusions they want by paying researchers that are sympathetic to them? Let me know if you think this is true science, huh? This is the way to, to spread true facts about reality, or are they putting out alternative facts there, a bunch of lies. So let me know what you think. If you got something out of this video, if you learned something, hit like. If it inspired you in some way, hit like. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more vegan information and more health information from me and Angie here at Happy Healthy Vegan. So until next time, keep away from that high fat, high saturated fat, cholesterol laden dairy, and keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved. Spinning till I'm dizzy